Buenas noches, buena noche, we gates across the globe. This is the Computer Programming University doing a response to some subscriber questions. Not the best lighting, but here we are. Um, so we did the Python video recently. I showed you guys how to write your first Python script. We did the hello world. Um, say hello to my little script. And um, you guys loved it. I love the feedback. And let's actually take a look at that right now. There were some questions that were asked. Well, I guess let's start with that. So the, some, some of you did the homework assignment, which is you're supposed to take the Hello World script and take it to the next level, where you can actually have the user enter something and then have it repeat it back to you. But then there were some issues that came up where you guys were not able to just type in the script name and have it run. So I'm going to show you the answer to that. So let's go ahead and go over to the video in question. And I will give you guys the answers to your questions. So here's the video. So it's the doing your first Python script. And we had some nice feedback from Nauras that actually he did a nice write up on the lesson, which was awesome. I really appreciate that. And MJ Shahid, who actually purchased my course, I appreciate that, purchased my uh, SQL course and also um, what was the other course? Oh, actually, I think both of my SQL courses you purchased. Thank you very much for that. Now, the question you had is, here's the code for your script, which I see you're, you're set it up for Python 3. So I hope you're actually running Python 3. And according to the syntax that you use, it looks like you are following Python 3 syntax because you have your output in parentheses. So that would be appropriate for, for Python 3 in 2.7, like what I'm running. You don't need the parentheses. You can just put the quotes. But anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to address your question. So let's go over to the terminal. Just bear with me one moment while I switch what you guys are seeing to the terminal. And I'll show you the nice, easy answer. So first of all, of course, smash that like button. You know, I love the likes. So here I am in this path. And I'm going to go to a directory where I have a Python script. I have the time tracker script, which I'm working on. New version of. So let's see why. OK, so there's the Python script that I'm working on. Clean this up. All right, so if I were to simply type in the name of this, nothing's going to happen. OK, I love the touchpad on the laptop. Lots of fun. Keeps it interesting. All right, so I paste that in there. Basically, the shell is going to look and try to find out what what on earth it is that I'm typing in. What is that? Is it a built-in command? Is it some script in the bin directory or in the paths anywhere? Like, what is this? It doesn't know what, what time logger 2x. Like, what is that, right? So it's searching in all the paths, looking for something that matches, and then it would go from there. But it's not in any of the paths, so you get the command not found, all right? So easy way to fix this. You can do an export. So with the export command, this is actually just a temporary fix. You can do an export path equals dollar sign path colon. And then you can type in the path of where we are now. So I am right now in this directory. So I can simply copy that and paste it. And just so you understand what this is doing. So this export command is going to push this path into what is currently being used. So it's export path equals dollar sign path, dollar sign before the path indicating that it's a variable. 
So there's a variable called path, which has information in it. That information will be the current path. So we want to append to it. How do we append to it? We basically put, we separate each path with a colon, right? So we're adding at the end of it a colon and then another path. This will make more sense to you when I show you option number two. This is a temporary fix. So when I do this, that adds it to the path. So if I do a, if I do an echo path, dollar sign path, you now see that this path has been appended. So you see here, you see the, this is what we just added, the colon and all this stuff we just added right there. So now it's part of a path. So if I now type in, I'm just going to copy and paste it. Hopefully this touchpad doesn't mess me up. Let's see what happens. And paste and boom. Permission denied. So this is something else that will happen to you guys. This is actually totally unrelated to the path situation. You need to make sure you have permissions to actually run the script. So to, to make sure you have permissions, you do a chmod plus 777. So this is basically gonna gonna activate the run permissions. So actually, let me before I do that, let's do an ls dash ltr. And if you look at the script in question, you can see the permissions on it, right? So you can see it's read, write, read, write, and read. There's no execute permissions on it. So that's why you can't run it saying permission denied. So we need to give ourselves permission. And I can do that by doing a change mod plus. 777, and then it would help if I actually type the name of the actual script. So now we've given it permission. So now if I do a lsltr, now you can see execute permissions are active. So if I run the command again, or type in the script name again, I see it actually runs. Now it's failing because if you look at the error message, it says script file name equals argument. It's looking for an argument. My script needs an argument. So I can type it in again and I can say testing dot log or whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, I may have used that already, whatever, TR, it doesn't matter. Now you see it works. So it's that easy. So now I can simply type in the script name and it'll work. I don't have to type in the path or use Python, but this is a temporary fix. When you start a new shell, this is no longer gonna work. To make this long-term, You've got to go to your ETC environment. So use VIM or whatever editor. Go in there, and there you're going to see your actual permanent path. Every time you log in or start a new shell, this is the path it's going to use. So add the path here so that it'll be permanent. right? But if you're just doing some development work, you may not want to make it permanent. So what you can do is you can use the export option to just do it as a temporary thing. All right, and that's all there is to it. And before we end the stream, I wanted to, again, go back to where we started. I want to, again, thank you, everyone, for all your support. I really appreciate it. Uh, Nawaz, Ali. Uh, mega noob, definitely. I really appreciate the support. Commenting on the videos, liking the videos, you know, just staying engaged and and giving the positive feedback. Definitely appreciate that. So shout out to Mr. Bass Boost, fellow bass head, mega noob. Uh, Nawaz Ali, MJ Shahid, and everyone else. I'm going to look at now, I'm going to look at what you pasted here. I'm going to review that, not right now. It is the weekend after all. I just wanted to give you guys a quick feedback and answer to your questions. So I wanted to do this live stream uh, now just to get out of the way. But I am going to do another video response to your questions so just stay tuned for that and once again you are watching the computer 
Programming University, and we will be continuing our Python series. I have a lot of videos that I'm working on. We're going to be working on some collaborative projects together as well. And also in parallel, we'll be doing some more SQL videos. And in addition to that, Python, SQL. Now, based on the questions that you guys had, obviously I need to do some more Unix videos and Linux videos because these path questions have nothing to do with Python. Um, so what I'm seeing is that you guys, uh, some of you do not have all that um, much familiarity with the Linux environment. So since I'm going to be doing a lot of Python in Linux, it would be advantageous if I were to do some more lessons on the mm -hmm. Linux environment so you guys can understand it. Because this path thing, you know, you guys would have, you guys would have gotten that if you understood the Linux environment. And that's what I'm here for to, to help you guys. So I will be doing some more, some more uh, Linux videos. I know you guys um, really appreciated the, the Unix commands video that I did. But um, clearly, there's some more uh, videos that I need to do. So more Linux videos, more Python uh, videos. We're definitely going to be doing the Fix Engine project. That's a very, I'm very big on that. I really want to do that. And also, um, what I've been doing so far is I've been doing some research, looking at some open source Fix Engines, just to kind of uh, use as reference, um, rather than just starting from scratch type of thing. So um, just stay tuned. I'm getting my notes together, my thoughts together, and we'll start the brainstorming session about building our, our fix engine or basically uh, our trading uh, simulation software project. That's, that's something that I really want to work on with you guys. So I know I am, I'm supposed to sing a song at the end of every episode. <laughs> Um, you guys, you guys that are part of my notification squad, CPU squad, you guys, um, you guys are supposed to, if you would like to request a song, um, you guys can definitely post your requests at the end of the video. Um, notification squad, you are entitled to that, but, um, let's see what I, what I have for you guys today. Um, well, former Air Force. So how about the Air Force, Air Force Anthem? Um, I don't remember half of these lyrics. Uh, I don't even, here we go. Here we go. Zoom into me. They're thunder. Adam boys, give them the gun. Ba -dun, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. Nothing will beat the U.S. Air Force. Okay, there you go. That's it. That's my song. Thanks for watching. This is Computer Program University. And across the globe, salut. Buenas noches, adios, and ciao, viget, um, dobre utro in Russia. <laughs> all right, guys, thanks for all the support, and remember to click on that like button and uh, notification squad. Song requests in the uh, comment section. All right, thanks, guys. Have a great weekend, and until the next episode. Remember, learning should always be fun.